A coastal community in Bayelsa State is about to lose its main source of livelihood, fishing. And that is due to a gas leakage from the oil and gas exploration activity of corn oil. The people of Sangana in Brass local government area are now calling on the federal government and the international community to take action. Our correspondent, Jesse Essay, has more in this report. This is Sangana community where the livelihood of the people is largely dependent on fishing. Like most communities in the Niger Delta, Sangana has abundance of natural gas and crude oil, but this is not commensurate with infrastructural development and other basic amenities. Here, the Adriatic One Rig owned by Corn Oil, operators of oil mining lease 59, which is located in Sangana Kingdom in Brass local government area, which spewed an unspecified quantity of gas into the environment for almost three weeks before the leakage was brought under control. The community leaders accuse the federal government and the management of corn oil of negligence and insensitivity. But aquatic life has been damaged. Well, I can take you back to 1960, the greenhouse gas explosion in the USA and even in Chicago. There's a lot of things that happened there and the government remedied that solution within a very short period of time. But in our case, the companies show some kind of laxity. They are not even ready. The government is paying deaf ears to us. We are today helpless. Even Cornell, the parent body, has the drilling rig. Refused to list it. Particularly from the advent of a Adriatic One rig to this O2 OML 59 oil field, the relationship sour. So much so that the things, the, the royalties and benefits that are due the community are denied. And as we speak, that rig is still alien to the minds of the people of Sangana community. In a peaceful protest to the deep blue sea where the rig is located, a few kilometers off the shores of Sangana, the locals shut down the operations of corn oil until further notice. They are also making demands. What we need is first relief materials, medical teams as quick as possible, then they have to prepare a way of compensation, adequate compensation, not only compensation. When the major one happened in 1980, Texaco then paid adequate compensation and there was no issue. And Cornell has to pay adequate compensation as well. We are using this medium to call on the government and uh, the only other uh, mineral resources to come for our aid. And we need uh, material, relief materials, and the compensation for, for these things that occur in this community. The people of Sangana are also unhappy that since the incident, a joint investigative report has not been carried out by relevant agencies of government and the operators of the rig to ascertain the level of damage. Jesse AC, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.